He started with a note on a summer afternoon. I lost myself and everybody else when I found you. Told you that I loved you, you weren't ready yet. But I had all the time you needed to be here to me.
I, DeAndre, take you, Lauren, as my lawful wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. I, Lauren, take you, DeAndre, for my lawful husband. I, Lauren, take you, DeAndre, as my lawful husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. May the Lord God bless these rings, which you will give to each other as a sign of love and fidelity. Amen. Lauren, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. <laughs> DeAndre, receive this ring. DeAndre, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. <laughs> ah. Wait, <send> your <laughs> Come on. It's on. <laughs> you may seal your love with a kiss. My pleasure to introduce to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. DeAndre and Lauren Davis.
dear to move We got no regrets, we're living like a fool I know that they're probably right And maybe I'm wasting my life celebrate this special moment with them. The handsome groomsmen that we have up here, our beautiful bridesmaids, it's been fun celebrating this with you guys. And to thank the parents, Randall and Sharon Bain, and Melinda Davis and Terry Bowles. You all deserve a round of applause for the amazing job you did here. I knew there was going to be something special about you, Lauren, when he first met you, because he turned into the polar opposite. He was really shy and was really nervous, and I could tell that you were really special to him. And their love and compassion for each other is not only inspiring, but it's indestructible. And I can see why he feels the way that he does about you. And I can say that you married the best friend that anybody could ask for today, and I couldn't be happier to know that you'll be the person that makes him complete till the end of time. Now, I believe some people are put in our lives for a certain reason, and those people are one in a million. I know that you two are definitely those one in a million people, and that you do, you two deserve each other. 
So to DeAndre, continue being who you are. That guy that can put a smile on just about anybody's face. And just the person that you want to be around whenever you're having a bad day, he'll just brighten your day. And to Lauren, <laughs> quite frankly, I don't know how you put up with this guy for so long. <laughs> so DeAndre, man, she's definitely a keeper. <laughs> to an amazing guy that I consider a brother and a wonderful woman that I consider a sister, I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. And I'd like to wish you nothing but the best on the journey that lies ahead of you. So to good fortune, good health, endless happiness, and unconditional love to Mr. and Mrs. DeAndre and Lauren Davis. Even though I'm the older one, I have to admit that there have been many times that I've been the one looking up to you, not just because you're taller than me. Um, you're such a beautiful, intelligent, determined, and kind-hearted person, and I've always admired your confidence and effortless way with words. And even though you've already self-proclaimed the best aunt ever title, I cannot wait to see you with our little one, because I agree, you're going to be one amazing aunt, and I'm so grateful to have a sister like you. It is obvious why Lauren and Dee are perfect for each other in um, other ways as well, especially in the way they are complete opposites of each other. One of the biggest ones being Lauren's organizational and planning skills, and Dee's lack thereof. <laughs> I think a prime example of this is just last week when Lauren and Dee went to get their marriage license, which Dee wanted to wait until yesterday morning to go get, but Lauren insisted they go earlier than that. Well, thankfully they did, because Dee handed his license to the person, she looked at it and said, um, sir, this license is expired. And in, and in true DeAndre fashion, he takes it back, he looks at it and he goes, yes, yes it is. <laughs> also, let's keep in mind, DeAndre still works at the BMV every single time. DeAndre to be more prepared and organized, and how DeAndre teaches Lauren to not sweat the small stuff and everything will work out in the end, which they did get their marriage license and it's all good, right Dee? Yeah. <laughs> this is only one of the examples of the many lessons they teach each other, and I hope they never stop teaching each other new things. I know I can speak for everyone in this room when I say that we all could not be happier for you two today. We love you both so much. I know that there are many great things in store for your future. So let's all raise a glass and toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Davis. I'd also like to take this moment to express to my son, DeAndre, how proud I am of the man you become. Having you young, as a young mother, I'll be the first to admit that I had no clue what I was doing. With the help of your father, Turk, your Uncle Alan, and other family members, we raised you as a village, to the best of our ability. As a mother, I often wonder if there were things that I could have or should have done differently. Now, looking back, I know that things worked out exactly how they were supposed to be. You are a phenomenal son, brother, and I know you'll be an amazing husband. I'm so blessed to be your mother. You're as close to perfect as it gets. Congrats to the both of you. We love you, Mr. and Mrs. Davis. Your nanny and Pat Pat Kenny would be on proud. Sharon, I want to thank everyone for joining DeAndre and Lauren and joining in this celebration. To Melinda and Turk and the rest of the village people. <laughs> thank you for bringing DeAndre, DeAndre up and making such a great young man. We truly love being. Sharon, I know in our hearts you'll make a great husband to Lauren. When I saw you in that dress today, thanks for the special presentation ahead of the ceremony. It was good to get footage. You and I all of our eyes out. <laughs> You're the most beautiful bride I've ever seen. There's one thing that we we always did since you've been little. Lauren, did I tell you I love you today? 
I love you, Red. And don't worry, Lord, it might be a deja vu, deja vu, but you will always be Daddy's little girl. I love you. Thing. Can't 
Star. 